Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we will understand what is set interval method. In this tutorial, we are gonna use the set interval method and create a simple timer. So in this tutorial, we will understand how to use set interval method and the clear interval method. The set interval method is used to call a function or evaluate an expression at a specific interval. Set interval method will continue calling the function until clear interval is called or the window is closed. The clear interval method will clear the execution of the function. We will understand what is clear interval after a few minutes. Set interval method return an ID used to set a parameter of clear interval method. Using this ID, you can clear your execution of set interval method. The set interval method syntax is as following. So I will just say set interval and in the parenthesis, the first argument is going to be a function or an expression and the second argument is going to be a millisecond, right? So to specify millisecond, we have 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 seconds, right? So 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 second. Now let's understand how to use set interval using this example. So I will just go to my dom.html file and here I will just create a paragraph. So I will just say p specify class count and the text is going to be 0. Just after that I will just create two buttons here to start and stop the execution of the function. So I will just say button here and just specify type button class is start and the text is start and i will just copy this text and paste it here and just change this text to stop and the class is gonna be stop right i will just save this document so you will get your button and the paragraph text on the document right just after that here I will just say style tag and specify some style to the buttons. So I will just say padding 0.5 em and 2 em. Right? So this is your buttons and just specify style to the paragraph and say font size 2 em and padding is gonna be 0 am and 2 am right now i will just go to my main.js file here and just select my paragraph right so i will just select here say paragraph so i will just say para here and say document.query selector and using the class name i will just select my paragraph so i will just say para here right so this is my class name oops it's a count so i will just say count here right just after that i just wanted to create two variables here first variable is count the number and the second variable is to clear the interval so i will just say let count is equal to zero and i will just create clear variable here right just after that, I just wanted to create a function to count this variable. So here, I will just say function value count, specify parenthesis of this function and in the body of this function, I will just say count plus plus. When we call this function, we will increase the size of this variable by 1, right? And just after that, I will say para1 dot inner html is equal to count right and just specify the count value to the paragraph right to this paragraph right now i just wanted to call this function using set interval method to call this function we are using start button when we click on the start button we wanted to call this function right so i will just say here document dot query selector and just select this button using the class so i will just say start here and add event listener 
so i will just specify click event to this button and specify handler function here right now here i just wanted to call this set interval method right so when we call this start button we will execute this function in this function i will just say set interval and in the parenthesis i will specify first argument the first argument is a handler function so i will just say value count and the second argument is going to be a millisecond so i will just say here 1000 right so this 1000 represent one second and this is my function i just wanted to execute this function after every one second so the set interval method will execute value count function after every one second right so i will just save this document and click on the start button here right so this will increase the size of the count variable and you will get your timer on the document now i just wanted to create a code to stop this timer right so when we click on the stop button i just wanted to stop this count right so i will just say here i will just copy this code and just paste it here and just change this start button to stop button right so this is my stop button click event and here i will just remove this set interval method now i just wanted to get the id of set interval method and stop using clear interval method right so i will just say here clear is equal to so this method will return id to the clear variable the id is simply a number stored in the clear variable we are using this clear variable and specify in the clear interval method to stop this execution right so i will just say here clear interval and in the parenthesis i will specify this id so i will just say clear here and just save my document again when I click on the start button, this count will increase its size. So you will get your 1, 2, 3 and so on. Just after that, to stop this execution, we are using stop button. So I will just say stop here. So your execution will stop when you click on the stop button. When you click on the start button, this execution will start again. So I will just say start. So this execution start again. When you click on the stop this execution will stop again right it is very easy to understand what is set interval and clear interval method is set interval and clear interval method is mostly used in animation and many different things right so i hope you understand what is set interval method in the next tutorial we will understand what is set timeout function if you wanted to execute a function only once after a specific millisecond you can use set timeout function. We will understand what is set timeout function in the next tutorial, right? I hope you understand this lecture. Before you jump on the next video, make sure you press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. And don't forget to press the like button if you find anything useful in this tutorial. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.